this is a locked on place and I thought that I would do a quick video on farming because it's a good way to make money and since people are going to be needing a lot more money with the synthesis update in order to update their ships this is a, a, a great way to make money. I know a lot of people do it with indium farms but this is I think a more interesting way, way to do it although indium farms are a great way to go, go to. So this is one of my farms. Um, I have it made out of uh, these biodomes. You can see that you plant into the edge of, of the biodomes. And I also have a significant amount of stuff planted outside. Now you can plant something in each of the main biomes. You can plant star bulbs in lush biomes. You can plant echinic cactus in barren or desert biomes, etc. And I like to plant outside because that doesn't require any power. But for things that have power, but for things that have to be grown in biodomes like mordite and facium, uh, gut gut rot, biodomes are great because once synthesis came out, we can harvest everything at once, which saves an amazing amount of time. I don't know who came up with this idea at Hello Games or someone suggested it, but I am very, very, very great, great. So you can harvest a ton of stuff at once in the biodomes and you can grow a bunch of stuff out in the dirt. I also have a... I'm just going to go over the quick details here. So you, you need to farm a bunch of stuff and you also need a bunch of uh, elements. Uh, to farm. You need nitrogen, radon, and sulfurine. And so you can create mines for those. This one happens to be a nitrogen mine. The mine itself is actually... Oops, I forgot to get rid of my ships. The mine itself is actually way over there. Actually, no, it's there. The power's, the power's put over there. But my mine is there, and then I run pipes back to my main part of the base to the supply uh, depots so I can gather the elements without going outside. So once you have gathered all the things that you need, what I do is I get a hauler. And I just get a cheapo, well this is an A, but I'll just buy a, a, a C-class hauler with 48 slots. I don't install any tech and I put all the tech that you have to have into the technology slots so that gives you a huge amount of space in order to do your crafting. Um, I never ever fly my haulers I just use them as uh, storage basically. So these are all the elements and plants that you need in order to craft a stasis device and a fusion igniter. And the way I do it is very s simple. Say I want to construct a circuit board, which is one of the things you, you need to make quantum processors, which you need to make both stasis devices and fusion igniters. To make a circuit board, I need a heat capacitor and polyfiber. So to do those, I need some frost crystals. I need selenium. I need cactus flesh and I need star bulb. So then I make, what do I need? I need a heat capacitor, which I made out of the frost and, and the selenium, and I need some poly fiber. And with those, I can make a circuit board. But what I actually do is I make a couple of these and then the circuit board. But I also need a superconductor, which I make out of semiconductors and enriched carbon. The semiconductor is made out of therm thermic condensate and nitrogen salt. I will give a... Uh, uh, I'll show a, a, a graphic on, on, on how to do this. But for those, I need sulfurine, 
and wait, where am I? Sulfurine and condensed carbon in order to make a heat. Nope, in order to make thermic condensate. Now, this all is a little bit complicated to, to start with, but it'll get simpler here in a bit. And nitrogen salt, I need my nitrogen, and I need the condensed carbon again. So then I can make a nitrogen salt. And then out of those, I can make a semi con con conductor. And then I need some enriched carbon, which I make out of radon and condensed carbon. So then I make some enriched carbon. And then I can make some super con conductor. So now I have a circuit board and a superconductor, and out of that I can make a quantum processor. But let me simplify this a little bit. Let me put these back. I actually usually keep them in my suit uh, storage. I only have them out here for demonstration purposes. Let's throw this back up there. my rich carbon. And then I combine the superconductor and the circuit board in order to make a quantum processor. But here's the trick. Once you have everything like oops, that's not that's not what I wanted. Once you have everything lined up, all you do is just click down the line. Quantum processor. And this way, you don't get too far without, like, you don't make a ton of thermic condensate, but run out of polyfiber and end up with a bunch of extra ther thermic condensate. This way you always have the same amount of things. Okay, that's five quantum processors. So we also need uh, we also need a portable reactor which you make out of liquid explosive and fusion accelerant, which are there made out of acid and unstable gel, organic catalyst, etc., etc., etc. So let me set up that assembly line and I'll be right back. So here we have the assembly line for a portable reactor. We have acid, which is made out of mordite and fungal mold. We have unstable gel, which is made of cactus flesh. Ex uh, liquid explosive, which is made out of these two. Thermic condensate, an enriched carbon, which makes organic catalyst. Then if you combine an organic catalyst with nitrogen salt, you get a fusion accelerant. And if you combine a fusion accelerant back with the liquid explosive, you get a portable reactor. So again, click, 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 click click, click, click. Now, you need a third thing in order to make a fusion igniter, and that is geodesite. And I actually get most of my geodesite and most of my iridesite from frigate missions. So I have a ton of it <laughs> just kind of lying around. Let's throw that back in the suit. 
I have the quantum processors that we made earlier. So, oops. So I have this assembly line, and out of these assembly lines, I've made quantum processors, I've made portable reactors, and I've made geodesite. And out of those, I can then make a fusion igniter. And as you may know, fusion igniters sell for 15 million units each. Stasis, stasis devices are the same thing. Now, I only run one what I call assembly line at a time. One for quantum processors, one for portable reactors, and one for geodesite. Because some of the things, things like thermic condensate, are shared by multiple assembly lines. And if you try to send up, set up multiple ones at a time, you, you tend to get a, a little bit confused. But so I'll, I'll set up an assembly line in order to make 10 quantum processors. And then I'll make a, an assembly line to make 10 portable reactors, and then one for 10 geodesite, which will give me 10 fusion igniters, which is 150 million units. And as you can see, once you have all of your gear together, once you have all of your ingredients, running the assembly line is very, very fast. So again, I will put in the description for this video links to a spreadsheet that has uh, the formulas you need to, to build this stuff. I will also uh, show, I will also have a graphic in there and as well as, um, what was the other thing I was, I was going, going to link in? Oh, I don't remember. One last thing, a lot of this stuff oops, that you craft all of these blueprints come from manufacturing facilities. So I'm sure there's a tutorial or something about how to do manufacturing facilities. I'll see if I can find a screenshot of the tech trees in order to put those in the description as well. So. So, that is a quick and dirty, quick, uh, quick way to craft fusion igniters and stasis devices, which again sell for 15.6 million units each, and just a couple of those, and you are well on your way to upgrading your little tiny uh, 15 slot shuttle to a 48 slot S-class monster. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day.